So when you uh, basically uh, install your R Studio and open it for the first time, it will look like this. There will be four panels. Everybody here, class, right? So when you install your uh, R Studio, it will look like this. You'll have four panels. The first panel is where you can write your scripts, and we'll come to this in a moment. The bottom panel here will be what is known as the console, right? And this console is where you can again type and directly give commands. And I'll come to this in a moment and show you how this works out. Then you'll have a third panel on the uh, right hand side the top panel here. This is basically your environment panel and also your history and connections and tutorials. So this will give you idea of which variables you're using and other things. And I'll show you as we go along how this works out. And this last panel here is for, uh, you know, uh, for packages. You can install packages here, update packages here. You could see your plots here when you do your plot. You could use your help. You could you could search for anything that you want to, any command that you want to search in R, and it will link it to, it will give you the link and you're going to see it, and so on and so forth. So there are four panels here, and by default, it will be here in files. And uh, by default, it will be in packages, I guess, right? So, you know, it is in viewer. By default, it will be in viewer here. So there are four quadrants in a typical R studio. How many of you have installed R, installed R Studio and opened the panel here, class? Anyone? Okay, sort of again. And I think others are uh, haven't installed yet. So uh, what we'll do is, we'll, because in the interest of time, we will not have enough time to wait for everybody to come up here. Uh, you can follow it up here, and then, of course, you can practice that at, at home, at your end, once you've installed, right? So uh, meeting recording is in progress, okay. So everybody here, class, you're following, everyone? Raise your hands quick. All right, so everybody is around, and I see a lot of, lot of hands raised. Good, so that is that is uh, progressive here, right? So that is encouraging. So coming back here, this is your restricting panel, and Elanjana also raises the hand. All right. So here you are, class. This is your typical, and everybody else, and Priyanka Sharma. All right. So coming back here, class. This is your typical R Studio lookout, right? There you'll have four quadrants. The first quadrant is where you can load your pre-written scripts and run it here, right? And I'll come to this later. First, let us come to console, right? And first, uh, simple uh, idea of how to use R is, let's use R as a calculator, right? So if, if I give it, let's say, two plus five, right? And say enter. So if you see here, it gives me seven, right? So this is a simple mathematical operation that you can do here. Then of course, if you say five asterisks, uh, five plus, let's say 1000. So this is again simple, five, Asterisk 5, 25, 5 minus 5, 25. So console is a place where you can give your command and also see the result right away, right? So 5 minus 5 is 0. 5 raised to power 5. So 5 raised to power 5 here would be, you'll use the carry sign. So this is your carry just above 6 with shift. 5 raised to power 5 will give you uh, 5 raised to power 5 times, right? So this is your... Uh, all right, so this five is for five times, right? So this is giving you three, one, two, five, right? And then if you have five is for two, so that will give you 25, right? So five is for two is 25, right? And you can do a lot of such such uh, mathematical operations here straight away, should not be too much of a problem. So this is basically just to show you how the control works. You can directly give your command here and get the output here as well, right? But uh, what we most commonly do is, uh, what happens is when you close the R Studio, whatever is in the console is lost. So this is a, a data that is not stored, right? And many a times what you'd want to do is once you've done your operation, you'd want to save your script, right? So for that, what you can do is you can write a script here, right? And uh, let's say I write again, five asterisk five. And then again, I if you, if you see here, I select this and I say run. And again, if you see in the bottom, you get five asterisk five equal to 25. So let me load a pre-script, a pre-written script for you, and that should help you understand what I'm saying. So I'm now loading. So you go to file here, right? And I'm opening a file. So I'm browsing through my system to open a file. I am in my local directory F in the in the in the folder F into the R human genome folder. And I load a file called 
are as calculated, right? So this is my first script that I'm showing you. So here is a pre-written script, right? So what I'm doing now is I'll simply select the commands here and look at the output in the console, right? So here you are, simple arithmetic operations, one plus two. So you have to select that. And what is this hash and uh, the command here? So this is what is known as comment. So when you put a hash in front of a, of a line here, that line is not uh, basically executed, right? So you can write your comments using a hash. And why do you write comments? Because you want to know what you're doing in this part of the program, which is very important again, because many a times what would happen is when you write a long code, let's say thousand lines, 10,000 lines, 5,000 lines, you would yourself not remember what you have done in that part of the program. So therefore it is always important to comment your program whether you're doing it Python or in BioPython or in R, right? So for here, for example, I write simple arithmetic operation, right? And then I select the first line and I say run and I get one plus. So let me just clear this out so that you see only what this is. So this is the brush here. When you click on the brush icon, you'll be able to clear out whatever is there uh, or pre-written in your console. So now we are exclusively seeing what we're doing here. So one plus two, say run and you get three as your output. Three plus five, so I'm just putting it straight away here, right? So this is run again, x equals two. So what I'm doing now is I'm assigning the value of three plus five to x. So x is my variable here, right? So x equals to three plus five, and then I'm asking what is the value of x, so it gives you x equals to three plus five. Uh, this is the step that it has given. Then uh, if I want to see what is the value of x, I'll write x. Right, so when I write x, it is going to give me the value of x here. So I say run, and it gives me the value of x here as a. Right, I could also write write print x, print and x. Right, so now it will print the value of x. So I write here print x, and it gives me the value of x again. So x is a variable which has been equated to the value of three plus five. Likewise, y equals to five asterisk three. So you know the value of y would be 50. So you run and because you've not printed y, you don't get it here. So let me say uh, y, I'm just giving the variable name and it will be able to give you the value of y here. So it says 15 here if you see, right? Then of course, there are other mathematical operations you can do. So this is uh, the other mathematical operation. So you have five by two, 56 by 10. Then all mathematical operations should follow the board mass rule. So the first thing I want to ask you is, what will be the value of this equation? Two plus in bracket five asterisk three divided by two. Come on mathematicians, quick. What will be the value? Give me in the chat. Everyone. Right. What's the value here, class? Okay, so Shreya says 9.5, Sophia says 9.5, and 9.5 is correct. Everybody is correct. So there are other people also who say it. So Pranav says 9.5, and Shreya says 9.5. So everybody, you get it right. So let's just check if this is true. So that's 9.5. Now I change the braces here, and now you tell me what will be the value again following the board mass. Board mass, you understand, right? Bracket of division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. That's the sequence in which it will be operating. The operator will be used here, right? So now again, the second one, what value are we going to get here, class? Quick, come on, mathematicians. Now remember, class, okay, everybody is good. So 10.5 is correct again, right? So everybody gets a 10.5. I see a 7.5 also, that's not correct. So, but it, it is understood, right? So good. So I think 10.5 uh, is correct, right? So here you are. Then you could do a square root. So a square root, you could do SQRT and you say run and you get a square root. You could do raised power, which is fine again, right? You could find what is the quotient and what is the remainder. So 10%, percent, percent 56 percent, percent 10 will give you the remainder here six is the remainder five is the divisor if you want to look at the divisor again you do this and you get the divisor right so this is uh, some basic mathematical operations that you can do here but of course you are not going into r to do such simple things right so you know and 
since I made some changes, I'll save it from here, right? So you you know, so now my script is having the changes that I made. I was printing the value of y and x, which I have not printed earlier. So therefore, this is the change. You could select everything in one go and run again, right? That can also be done. Let me clear this out. And you say run, and everything will be running again and will give you the values here, right? And if you see here in your global environment uh, column here, because you had used variables x and y, now you have the values of x and y shown up here, right? So this is the usage of the third panel here. It shows you the values of environment. It also shows you the history, what all you have done till now, right? So this is your history now. And this is the previous history, which I was trying to practice before the start of the workshop. And then it tells you the connections, not so much here. And tutorials, you could again, go to tutorials the link is given and you could go here so this is the utility of this panel here it will give you the list of uh, variables that are used here right and again if you want to clear out the things you can just use clear and you lose everything here and of course you can use clear here and do them clear. but of course we will not use r as a calculator i mean because it is a statistical software it is supposed to do much more than what a calculator can do this and any, any calculator can do right so therefore now we move on to what is known as the data types in R. 